friends welcome to my channel Ganesh here in this video I am going to discuss about natural language generation NLG uh, let me start with a simple equation NLP is equal to NLU plus NLG NLP means natural language processing NLU means natural language understanding and NLG means natural language generation. Let's start. This is a pictorial representation of the equation I told. Natural language generation, NLG is an important part of NLP. The NLU, natural language understanding, is responsible for understanding the content and NLG is responsible for generating the content. NLG is designed to bridge the gap between humans and machines and convert non-verbal data into human readable language formats such as articles and reports. For instance, when the user says, what is 5 into 5? First of, first of all, you need to use NLU technology to judge the user's intention, understand what the user wants, and then use NLG technology to say 25. Uh, how is NLG used? Natural language generation is an increasingly popular tool used by businesses and companies of all shapes and sizes. It provides an effective and practical way to translate large volumes of data into meaningful copy that is easier to understand, more functional to use, and more deliberate in, in the targeting of its audience. Some of the main uses for NLG include private readable financial or medical reports from data, generate high volume content for web applications and mobile tools, create customer communications that are responsible to requirements. Next, we are going to discuss who uses NLG. See, natural language generation for small companies and large corporations. Natural language generation is around the world as well as by individuals in need of the fast, convenient and accurate creation of large volumes of content. As the modern version of a text robot, NLG is far more reliable functional and practical than past AI iterations, making it a valuable addition to the toolkit across countless business and industries. Content creation can be strained on many services where there isn't a budget to hire copywriters or content creators for high volumes of text creation. Still, NLG provides a solution to create that content quickly and easily without the need for additional course. NLG Design and Architecture In the attempts to mimic human speech, NLG systems used different methods and tricks to adapt their writing style, tone and structure according to the audience and context and purpose of the narrative. In 2000, Rachel and Dale pipelined NLG architecture distinguishing three stages in the NLG process. Document planning, designing what is to be set and creating an abstract document that outlines the structure of the information to be presented. Next is micro planning generation of referring expressions, word choice, and aggregation to flesh out the document specifications. Next is realization, converting the abstract document specifications to a real text 
using domain knowledge about syntax, morphology, etc. Next, I am going to discuss about different NLG models. Even after NLG shifted from templates to the dynamic generation of sentences, it took the technology years of experimenting to achieve satisfactory results. As a part of NLP and more generally artificial intelligence, natural language generation relies on a number of algorithms that address certain problems of creating human-like text. First NLT model I am going to discuss is Markov chain. The Markov chain was one of the first algorithms used for language generation. This model predicts the next word in the sentence by using the current word and considering the relationship between each unique word to calculate the probability of the next word. In fact, you have seen them a lot in earlier versions of the smartphone keyboard where they were used to generate suggestions for the next word in the sentence. Next is uh, a recurrent neural network, RNN. Neural networks are models that try to mimic the operations of the human brain. RNNs pass each item to the sequence through a feed-forward network and use the output of the model as the input to the next item in the sequence, allowing the information in the previous steps to be stored. In each iteration, the model stores the previous words and counter in its memory and calculates the probability of the next word. The next model we use is long short-term memory LSTMs. To address the problem of long-range dependencies, a variant of RNN, RNN called long short-term memory LSTM was introduced. Uh, though similar to RNN, LSTM models include a four-layer neural network. The LSTM consists of four parts, the unit, the input door, the output door, and the forgotten door. These allow the RNN to remember or forget words at any time interval by adjusting the information flow of the unit. Our next model we use uh, for natural language generation is transformers. A relatively new model was first introduced in, in the year 2017. Uh, Google paper attention is all you need which proposed a new method called self-attention mechanism. The transformer consists of a stack of encoders for processing inputs of any length and another set of decoders to output the generated sentences. In contrast to LSTM, the transformers perform only a small constant number of steps while applying a self-attention mechanism that directly simulates the relationship between all words in a sentence. Model we use is BERT, Bidirectional Encoder Representation from Transformers, is a transformer-based machine learning technique for NLP pre-training developed by Google. BERT was created and published in 2018 by Jacob Devlin and his colleagues from Google. As of 2019, Google has been leveraging BERT to better understand user searches. We will discuss about content determination. As a first step, the NLG systems need to decide which information should be included in the text being built and which should not. Usually, the data contains more, more information than the final message. Next is text structuring. After determining what information needs to be communicated, the NLG system needs a reasonable order of organizing the text. For example, which reporting 
a basketball game it will give priority to when what place uh, what two team then outline and finally uh, the ending of the game next is sentence aggregation not every piece of information needs a separate sentence to express combining multiple pieces of information into one sentence may be more fluid and easier to read next up is lexicalization once the content of each sentence is determined it can be organized into natural language this steps add some conjunctions between the various informations and looks more like a complete sentence next is reference expression generation re reg referring expression generation step is very similar to uh, grammaticalization it is to select some words and phrases to form a complete sentence but the essential difference between uh, the previous one and grammaticalize and the reference expression generation is that reg needs to identify the domain of the content and then use the vocabulary of the domain rather than the domains next is the final one that is the language implementation finally when all relevant words and phrases have been determined they need to be combined to form a well-defined well-formed complete sentence particular applications of nlg nlg makes data universally understandable making the writing of data-driven financial reports product descriptions, meeting memos, and more much easier and faster. Ideally, it can take the burden of summarizing the data from analysts to autom automatically write reports that would be tailored to the audience. The main practical present-day applications of NLG are this is for business intelligence dashboards, reporting on business data analysis, IoT device status and maintenance reporting, individual client financial portfolio summaries and updates, personalized customer communications. These are all some examples of um, the practical applications of NLG. Next, we are going to discuss about the common commercial NLG tools. The first one is ARIA NLG PLC is believed to be one of the global leaders in NLG technologies and tools and can boost the most advanced NLG engine and reports generated by NLG narratives. The company has patented NLG technologies available for use via the ARIA NLG platform. Next one is the next commercial NLG tool is AX Semantics. It offers e-commerce, journalistic and data reporting, example BI or financial reporting, NLG services for over 100 languages. It's a developer-friendly product that uses AI and machine learning to train the platform's NLP engine. Next, I am going to discuss about the common open source NLG tools we use. One is Simple NLG and the next is Natural Owl. So that's all about the uh, introduction to NLG, natural language generation. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Thanks a lot.